Hey, I'm Patrick Murphy Racy, Sony Artist of Imagery. I am so excited to come to you today. I am busting at the gut. I've been under a non disclosure agreement with Sony for the last three weeks. And I don't know why, but maybe because everything's shut down, but they're going to let me launch a new camera here today. Um, and without further ado, I want to announce the Sony A3 Micro Camera. It's a brand new micro compact wearable mirrorless camera. Uh, it is so cool. Uh, I can't wait to sort of show you what it is. And without further ado, I want to show you this. And here we go. Whew. That's it. That's the A3M, what we'll call the A3M. Sony A3 Compact Mirrorless. So what is it? Let's talk about that. So here we go. End of the deck. This is a 41.2 megapixel. It has a... a a 0.41 inch CMOS sensor. It has 12 stops of dynamic range. Now, I personally, I personally am kind of upset about that because I think it should have had more dynamic range. It's a brand new camera, it's 2020. We already are up to 14 stops of dynamic range and why in a brand new camera they just brought out, why they couldn't get better. I get that the sensor's small, but it still bums me out. So I call that a pain point. Um, now, Shipping with the camera uh, is a uh, brand new lens. This is the brand new 24 millimeter to 120 f4.1 aperture lens. And here you can see the lens this way. So it's a pretty cool little compact little kit thing. I'm very excited about it. I think Sony's going to do great with it. Um, see that I'm using the A9 to shoot this video and it won't let me it won't let go of the face detect. So there we go. So there's the lens, uh, 24 to 120, 4.1 aperture. Nice and small, lightweight, pretty tiny. It's pretty cool. It's not available right now, but there will be uh, an AFD FE adapter. Now this adapter is gonna have a 4.1 conversion. So if, for instance, you're using an FE 55 millimeter 1.8 uh, Zeiss lens, you would do 4.1 times that 55 millimeter and you'll end up with a 225 millimeter 1.8 lens. Now think about that for sports photography. Uh, I am not sure how big, if you even use the 7200 2.8, at 200 millimeter it'd be 200 times 4.1. Uh, you might have to be in the next county to shoot football, I don't know, but anyway. So back to the uh, deck here. There's also a built-in 64 gigabyte flash memory, uh, which is pretty cool. And also, they even added external memory too. So the camera has internal memory on its own, but you can also plug in right here on the side, there's a slot for micro SD, which is pretty slick. So that means that the entire um, capability of the camera in terms of memory is, is 192 gigabytes of onboard memory. So if you combine the built-in 64 gig flash memory and then add a micro SD card that holds 128 gig, you get 192 gig. So that's a, that's a new record, pretty cool. Um, there is gonna be a new flash, it's called the AFD flash. It'll feature tilt, LED focus aid, and it's powered by the sun. It charges like when you're outside, and then when you're inside, it just goes. That won't ship till July, though. So we're going to have to wait till July for that one. Um, and then also, there's a brand new cord. Uh, it's called the uh, USB-C cord. It's HDMI out, but it's a little tiny cord, um, which is kind of appropriate for the size of the camera. And uh, you basically just plug in, and you can either plug the camera in, uh, like with your, your, with your phone at night or whatever and then you can also pull um, you can use the camera literally as a as a as an SD card or a drive so you can just connect that up anytime you want to to pull information in your computer so that's exciting um, so the 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 next thing we want to talk about is it's the smallest and most compact ILCE camera in the world uh, Sony's once again done it again they love to be first and they love to be best um, there is going to be a tripod plate adapter. It's called the AFD Quarter 20 to Micro Screw. Um, if you look on the bottom of the camera here, there is a little tiny bit of a um, this little thing right here, and that's where the screw is going to go in. And so you will be able to use all your normal tripods, although they'll be kind of big, you know, but you will be able to do that. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then there's a, uh, this is kind of neat. Um, 
comes with the camera is what's called uh, AFD ring bling attachments. Now, what this is going to let you do, especially if you're like a collective member, you're going to be able to attach the camera to a ring on your camera. And they didn't have those to send me for, this is a pre-pro camera, so it, you know I, I can't show you that right now. But basically, you're going to be able to catch this to, to your ring. And just imagine you're driving down the car, and you're also going to be able to do a 180 flip on that um, ring bling. So you'll be able to turn the camera backwards whenever you want to, and then you can see yourself, and you can shoot pictures of yourself talking or ordering lunch or whatever it is that you're doing. So that's kind of cool. Um, another neat feature is, you know, you might think, gosh, you know, that's really small. The back of the camera, the little buttons back there. So, like, that's a little tiny button. So what Sony did is they, they came up with, um, these, these are called uh, AFD button assist pokers, and these are included. And basically what you do is you just basically access all the menus by using this little this little poker thing. So you can set up all your custom functions just like you're used to doing and uh, kind of cool. So there's two of these included with the kit when it comes out of the box. Um, I'm just so excited. It's so neat to do like true micro photography. The, um, now, the other thing that, that comes with it is a strap. Now, this strap does not make a lot of sense to me, but it's really cool. It's adjustable. It's like a custom strap. You can like change the size of it at will, which is, it's really neat, but I just think it's too big. And so I think this is a pain point, honestly. I think this is, you know, like nice try, but Sony, you make great cameras and lenses, but sometimes your straps are just lackluster. So I went into my garage and I found some spider wire and this is cool stuff. And uh, I can't do this right now because um, you gotta, you know, figure out how to get the, the thing through the, the hole, but there's a little hole there on the side and I'm just not, I'll have to do that later. I don't want to waste valuable video time while you're watching me. So, but I think this would be a much better thing. It's super lightweight. It's like almost invisible and that'd be a better way to carry the camera around in my opinion. Um, also we have um, the uh, terrible towel is also included. Now this, this towel takes up more room in the packaging than anything, but it's just this blue towel, which is really kind of cool. It's like, I don't know, it's kind of neat, but maybe you could just, you know, when you're packing this thing, you could just wrap it up in the towel. I don't know, but they call it a terrible towel, so whatever, we got that going for us too. Um, there's also an AFD MIS adapter. Now this allows full capability with the XLR K3M, the XLR K2M, the brand new cool mic that uses all the um, the new technology and this little shotgun. Uh, it'll use all the old microphones, anything that's capable with a multi-interface shoe. Um, the only trick is um, I don't have that because that's something that won't ship till later, but I kind of wanted to show you how this will work. So here's the XLR K3M, and what you'll do is the shoe is actually on the, on the bottom. It'll connect to the bottom of the camera because there's not enough room on the top for the, 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 the deal. So basically what you'll end up doing is you'll just, you'll just hold on to the microphone and then this will be connected on the top once that is delivered. I think that won't be until July. So that's how that's going to work. So it's cool. So you'll get pro audio out of this thing, which is awesome. And uh, the next thing is uh, this camera is capable of 120p, 120 frames a second and full 4K. So everybody thought... Everybody thought it was going to be the, the A7S III that would have that, but it's not. It's the A3 Micro that gets finally that benchmark of 120p and 40k, so I'm so excited about this. Now, there is no IBIS in this camera. It's just a little small. You know, it's a little bit small to kind of put IBIS in there, and so I think this is a pain point. Again, for Sony to be delivering cameras in 2020 without IBIS, it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but that's what they did. And, and maybe in the A3 Micro 2, they will bring the IBIS to us. Because really, I mean, what is a better camera for POV work or putting on a gimbal than this little guy? I mean, that's just insane. How tiny that thing is, that's like awesome for that. So um, the next thing is it does come with this charging cable. This is the AFD CH1. You can charge the camera. You can also do data transfer with it, which is really cool. The new A3 Micro has a brand new thing called Auto Protect Rotating Sensor, and it's pretty neat. Now, when I pull this lens off of this camera, okay, when I pull that off, when you look inside the camera, you're going to see 
a USB connection. Now, what happened is the literally the, uh, the USB connection automatically flips around 180 degrees and protects the sensor. So now the sensor is facing backwards inside the camera. And so what does is, is like this whole dust problem that we've had with mirrorless users, that's all gone now. So basically anytime you pull the lens off, it automatically flips the sensor to the back and gives you an, a portal for a USB-C, uh, which is really clever. I mean, really innovative on Sony's part. Now what's also cool is you can, if you use the internal memory in the camera, you can just plug in a card reader like that and you can transfer your, um, you can just transfer the information that you already shot in the camera by just putting in, uh, you know, I like the G cards, but you can just put that G card in there right there and you can just suck the stuff right out of the camera. And then you can go back and use your, you know, your, um, your poker and then do your format or whatever. So that's cool because remember you have to format in the camera now. You can't format, you know, uh, outside because you know the built-in memory is inside so you're going to have to deal with that also. Now also uh, there is a uh, Nauticam has announced that they have uh, produced something called the AFD A3M. It's an underwater housing. They make the best you know stuff there is on the planet for housings for cameras for pro divers and stuff like that. Sadly that won't ship until August of 2020 so you have to wait till the end of the summer but you can't go outside anyway so that's okay. Uh, and then last, there is a pocket wizard adapter. Uh, so if you want to like sync to regular strobes, that's called the AFD-A3 cord. And that's shipping and available now. Um, so that's pretty exciting. Um, now, uh, the moment you've all been waiting for, which we all want to know, is, you know, photographers, we want to know what the sucker is going to cost, right? I mean, this is a lot of tech. Built 41 megapixel. Just think about that. So what does it cost? What does it cost? Well, good news for people in the USA. This camera is going to sell for $420.41. $420.41. That's it. Now, Canadians, they always have to pay higher. I'm not really sure why or who makes those rules, but in Canada, the camera is going to be $999.41. So up in Canada, I'm not sure. It's kind of loony to me why it's so expensive. I just don't get it. But anyway, so there you have it, people. You heard it first from PMR on my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to bring you the new Sony A3 Micro camera. It's breaking all kinds of new ground in mirrorless technology. And uh, we just need a better strap, Sony. And we need kind of, you know, this thing with the tripod thing. It's a little small. But uh, I think it's going to be cool. I know this will be a madly successful camera. Um, but the only other thing I'd say is it would be really cool if they would ship it with like some readers because it's really hard to see. I have bifocals that are ground in. You can't really see, but they're there. But I can't quite make out uh, the LCD on the back of the camera. And it's, it's hard for me to see the writing. It's kind of small. Um, but other than that, I'm so excited about the, the new A3 Micro Compact camera. It's just... It's just a whole new world that Sony's putting us into. Um, so that's all I've got. This is Sony artist and Patrick Murphy Racy saying thanks for watching and please, please subscribe to my channel so you can get more real videos that are not offered on April Fool's Day. Thanks so much for watching.